Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Saltwater Buffalo. My name's Buffalo. Um, beautiful day out here today. Right now, it's like maybe 70, if that. So for August, I'll take it. Hopefully, the wind won't be too bad today. It's nice and fairly calm this morning. It's supposed to pick up this afternoon, but we're over at Fort Fisher. I do not have any live bait with me today. At least so far, I brought my cast net just in case I do run into some, so it's mainly gonna be throwing artificials all day. I haven't been over here in about a year, so we'll see whether I can get on, on anything or not. So grab a beer, grab a chair, let's go fishing. Big old croaker. Well, the skunk's off the boat anyway, so that's always a good thing. You know, obviously you want to try to catch something a little better than this, but to get the skunk off, it all counts, right? There we go. Decent little guy. I'll uh, throw him in the cooler for my buddy King. a surprising catch on a soft plastic it's like he's too small to keep I don't know we'll check him out I think he's too small but either way there we go yeah he ain't gonna make the cut I think they gotta be 14 to keep I don't think he's anywhere close to that so yeah that's a pretty cool catch for me Especially on a soft plastic. Yeah, I wish he was a little bit bigger, but there you go. He's probably 12 inches, something like that. A little short to keep, but that's a good sign. I keep bouncing around trying to find new spots because, like I said, I've only ever fished here one time. And I got skunked at that, so I've got no spots or anything like that. So I'm just kind of hitting a spot, giving it 20, 30 minutes, and finding another one. So maybe this will be it now. taking that Kroger home from my buddy, but you know, that doesn't count, I don't think. Hopefully the video here is not too bad. I'm sitting in this spot. Man, that's about like a washing machine in here. So hopefully it ain't making me seasick watching this. I think, come on, dude. I think the All right, there we go. 
there you can see flounder probably 12 14 inches something like that um see you dude but yeah hopefully the video is not too bad where i'm sitting at it's about like a washing machine i'm fishing these jetties and i've been trying to find where the water is coming across it and this spot's definitely got a lot of water flowing and everything um there you can see that's what that flounder spit up like a little uh, finger mullet is what that was but yeah keep it going Be, be something good. I'm going to assume it's a big flounder. Try to get that out in there good. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Be nice if it was a red. I haven't caught one of those in a little while. It kind of fights like a red. Hopefully it is. Feels good, boys. I like it. Yeah, that looked like a red fish. Come on, baby. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Heck, I love these fish, man. And as always, you know... You catch it on the lightest thing that you brought with you, which is how it always goes. But I'll take it. I don't care. Come on, dude. Get in here, man. Trying not to horse it too much since it's the lightest stuff I've got. Let him tire himself out. That's the thing with these redfish, man. They don't ever tire out. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Dang, that's a good fish. Oh. Come on, baby. Don't screw it up, Billy. Don't screw this up. Let's get this dude in the boat. I always heard there was some good redfish here. And this looks like I found one. Oh, that's a football right there. In the net, baby. Oh, God. Heck yeah, man. Woo. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think this dude's going to be too big to keep, but I don't even care, man. Oh, uh, these fish get me jacked up. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, I got to find somewhere to put this mess. Yeah, he's gonna be close on whether he can keep or not. Let me grab my uh, measuring board real quick. Let's see what we're working with here. Get this right away. Oh, what a stud, baby, what a stud. 25 inches. It's going to keep. Heck yeah. Let me get this stuff out of your way real quick. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Nope. You're staying with me, dude. I don't care whether you like it or not. Get some fish grips on you because you ain't going nowhere, man. Open up. Come on, man. out Let's that didn't work out real well all right never mind on them 
here we go. Let's take a look at this dude right there. 25 inch redfish, man. I love it. Let's see what he's got here. He's got one spot on that side, one on that. So yeah, this is what I came here for. I was hoping to find some of these dudes. Last time I was here, like I said, I'd got skunked. So I didn't know where to go. I've been bouncing around the jetty and I found this little grass flat right here and uh, we stuck them. Let's go. All right, so you just see me catch that redfish. I always try to tell y'all what I'm using. Um, that way when I do stick something big like that, you know what's going on. I don't think I showed it before. Z-Man paddle tail, the electric chicken, pink on top, chartreuse on the bottom, and just bouncing it around this grass line right here. Let's see if we can get some more. I can't keep any more, but man, I'd love to get onto a whole mess of them. To flounder. Well, back to the Z man. I was getting some bites. It's, maybe I'll put it in the video. I don't know. I was getting some bites on the bucktail, but I couldn't ever keep them hooked. One was a good redfish, one was a good flounder. And then here you see just a little baby flounder on this one. So appreciate the fight, dude. stay on here what do we got be a trout for me one time that'd be sweet I don't think it is but oh no not in the motor not in the motor not in the motor no come on let me get out of there get out of there where you at what the heck do I have The redfish, all right. Come on, man. You gotta go back, just come in and play for a minute, and then we'll we'll show you off. You get all that happy stuff. There we go. All right, in the net. What I'm talking about, boys. I've moved spots. I'm trying to I apologize for this wind noise. I know it's horrible today, so if you don't like it i'm sorry just turn the volume down i guess i don't know what to tell you on that one there you go back to the old purple z-man paddle tail oh easy buddy easy now come on come here there you go all right another look at the or shouldn't even say another look first look at this dude here not bad sized he's probably a under slot he'd have been close but i already have that one in the cooler anyway so we had to go back regardless because here in north carolina we're only allowed to keep one i got my one in the box but i'll take as many of them fellas as what i can get today There we go. There we 
go, boys. Should be another redfish. That's what it's feeling like. That's what I'm talking about, man. I knew I came over here today for a reason. Yeah, it's another red. Not a real big one, but nonetheless, it's still my favorite fish. I don't care. Thing's got to go back, and I still don't care. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Not in the motor. Not in the motor. Not in the motor. He's just now realizing he's hooked, I guess. He wasn't hardly fighting at the beginning. Let's see if I can get this dude in the boat for you. Show him off here a little bit. There you go, man. Get in here, dude. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. This one would be in slot. This is a pretty decent sized fish. It's bigger than what I thought it was. Whenever he wasn't fighting at the beginning, I just figured it was a small one, but he'd be in slot. All right, let me get you untangled and unbutton here, bud. Hold on. All right, hooks out. Redfish number three. I'm having a day today, boys. There we go. Look at that guy. That's what I'm talking about right there. God, I love these fish. They're so pretty. And look at that. I don't know how well you can see the blue on his tail, but man, I just love them. These, the, these things are, I know I always say, but they are my favorite fish. Ain't no doubt about it. Even though I can only keep one, I'd rather catch 15 of them a day than pretty much anything else. So I love it, man. This one, what do we got? Doesn't feel real big. Flounder. Alrighty. Get in here, dude. Alright. We're starting to put together a little bit of a day now. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, he's a small one, but every fish counts at this point is how I look at it. So yeah, here you go. Another flounder for you. Like I said, just a little guy. He's probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches, something like that. But appreciate the fight, dude. Get bigger. Kroger. All right. Another fish for Mr. King. Just keep adding them to the box for him. So there you go. You can see just a little croaker. Nothing special, but it's food for my buddy. Probably a flounder, it's staying down. That would be my guess, as always. Yep, it is. Cool. 
Let's see if I can get the dude in the boat. Huh? Yeah, there we go. He's in here. All right. Another flounder. Here we go. Flounder number, whatever the heck that was, but thanks for the fight, dude. So, not bad, I'll take it. Back-to-back -back cast, what do we got on this one? Be nice if I could catch a trout in here somewhere. Nope, just more flounder. Back-to-back -back cast. I don't know if I ever do that. I ain't good enough to ever catch fish like that. Good look at this guy right here. Get that line out of your way. Same deal, just pretty small. You know, I mean, I haven't caught anything real big today, but I mean, outside of the red, but I mean, some decent flounder. They'll work though. All right, thanks, man. Stuck another one. There we go. That feels like a decent fish there. Come on, baby. Let's see what we're working with. It feels like a decent one now. I'm assuming a flounder for as much as it's staying down, but I don't know. That's a flounder, it's a big one. Gotta be a flounder. It's gotta be what it is. Oh, where are you going, bud? No, 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 smaller ones. I mean, this is a decent sized one. Man, these dudes are so strong. That's why they're my favorites. I love catching these guys, especially like this. Light tackle. There we go. Heck yeah, man. Light tackle red fishing has got to be some of the best fishing you can do, in my opinion. And oh, dang, he choked that thing. Buddy, hold on here, man. You was hungry, wasn't you? You wanted that. All right. I almost had it, buddy. I almost had it. There we go. All right. Good. I'm glad this dude will live. I was afraid it'd be choked way down in there, but you can see just another football, man. I mean, these dudes are fat back in here. 
but just pretty. Get you a good look at his tail. This one's not quite as blue as the other one, but man, he's a good couple, probably four pounds, five pounds, something like that. He's he's fat. He got a gut on him like me, so let's get you back, buddy. I appreciate the fight. He swam off healthy. That's what I like to see. something again <laughs> oh man what a day let's see what we got it doesn't look like nothing too big oh, another croaker from a buddy I keep taking it get him some fish stacked up for him so If you don't know why I keep these, I got a buddy I work with that loves them. I've talked about it in a couple of my past videos, but he just fries these things up whole and eats them that way. I mean, they're a cousin of the redfish, so I mean, I hear they're good. I've never tried them, but I'll get this dude bled out, put on ice for him. Biggest flounder of the day here, man. <laughs> Dang, I thought I had an oyster the whole time. That's why I wasn't even saying nothing. I just figured I'd snagged up on something. And, well, I snagged up on something. A big old flatty. Oh, I hate how these dudes act like crackheads as soon as you get them out of the water, man. Just knock it off, bud. There you go, see? You're all right. All right, yeah, this dude's probably sitting somewhere around 20s, what I'm gonna guess on this guy. Hey, 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 simmer. Simmer down now, simmer down now. But here you go, here's a good look at him right there. Nice one, he's not real fat, but he's uh, got some decent length on him, but nonetheless, another flounder. Thanks for the fight, dude. Man, this spot right here is producing today. Dang, what do we got? What is that guy? Of course, I mean, what do you think it is? Another flatfish. The most extinct fish in all of North Carolina. And I can't get away from them. But, I ain't the one that makes the rules on this stuff, so. Here we go. There's another one for you. Decent sized, nothing too great, nothing too bad. Probably 14, something like that. So, say you, man. Got him 
again. Man. Hang on line, this might be about my best day I've ever had fishing. Well, I pretty well guarantee it. For is the total number of fish that I've caught, I, I don't know that I've ever caught this many in a day. And as always, another flounder. Sure would be nice if we would have a season for these guys, but we don't, so I keep catching them and keep throwing them back, but there you go. Flounder number whatever, bazillion for the day. Easy there, guy. Easy. Hey, hey, I'm gonna let you go, dude. I'm gonna let you go. Just settle down. You're going back in, all right? Hey, 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 I thought we had an agreement here. All right, get bigger, and I'll see you whenever you're in season. Well, what a day that was. That's probably by far my best day that I've had out there fishing by myself. I had to do the little outro, outro here in the, in the Jeep because man, that wind really picked up bad. It got rough out there. It was, it was a struggle to make it back to the boat ramp. But overall, man, awesome day. I could not ask for a better day with fishing pretty much a new spot. Like I said, I've only been here one time ever and I got skunked that day. So today definitely made up for it. Fort Fisher, you didn't let me down. Um, and hopefully you guys are starting to notice I'm trying to film a little different, edit a little different. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, what do I need to do different? Am I doing good, bad, whatever? So let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not already, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. My goal is to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. And right now I'm at 150 something. So I would appreciate any support y'all can give me. And until the next one, remember it's nice to be important, but more important to be nice.